Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Arizona Cardinals franchise. Joshua Dobbs is in at QB1. Colt McCoy has been released. Catch the update video, you will know all about that. But this Arizona Cardinals team looking for a little bit of a spark on the offensive side of the ball, looking for their first victory under head coach Greg O'Brien. Joshua Dobbs, a bit of a journeyman and he's gonna see if he can do something special with this Arizona Cardinals offense. As Prater has the boys lined up, and we are underway here from Glendale, taking on the Dallas Cowboys. This is gonna be back in the end zone, so Dak Prescott will go three wide here from the 25 as he finds C.D. Lamb for a quick gain of four yards. Take a look at what C.D. did last week, nine receptions, 120 yards, two touchdowns. Hopefully the secondary is going to be a little bit more stern with him this week as that's going to be another catch across the middle for a quick gain. That's going to set up a third and one. Tony Pollard going to break through because he's a white tackle. And Buda Baker going to grab the shoestrings on those Nikes and keep him from going any further. How about we give the ball to him again? Tony Pollard again with a nice run into the secondary. Two rushes, 20 yards on the opening drive here for Tony Pollard and the Dallas Cowboys. How about from the 47, first and 10, Dak Prescott has time, finds a man, but it's jarred loose by Buda Baker, Kazir White, loving that from his safety. Second and 10 from the 47, throw is gonna be short, and that is going to go to Ferguson, Kazir White there on the tackle, Ferguson's Really a big, strong tight end, and they're going to go play action. Throw the ball to Ferguson again, and he's going to be out of bounds. Fourth and five from the 42. So the Cowboys are going to be bringing out their kicker, and they are going to be making that one 3 nothing for the Dallas Cowboys on their opening drive. This Cardinals defense has allowed points in all of the opening drives this season. Here comes Joshua Dobbs. What can he do for the Cardinals offense as they're going to hand this one off to Keontae Ingram for a gain of six. Love to see Keontae Ingram and James Conner sharing some reps here, but a little play action doesn't work as intended as that is the veteran Lawrence getting the sack, setting up a third and eight from the 25 now. Josh Dobbs has time, throws the ball, has a man open, and it's Hollywood Brown. That is a 37-yard completion for the Arizona Cardinals and a big first down into Dallas territory. This is something we have not seen from the Cardinals this season. Throwing the ball downfield to your playmakers. I mean, we got Rondell Moore. We have, obviously, Hollywood Brown. There are guys here to make plays. We just haven't been able to get the ball in their hands in situations where they can catch and run as Connor. Runs back to the line of scrimmage, and then Josh Dobbs is going to keep one. And he runs for a gain of 14 down to the 25-yard line. So a little option route there by Josh Dobbs showing off the wheels. Sets up a nice first down in Dallas territory, but this is a very stern front seven of the Dallas Cowboys. A lot of playmakers, including one of my favorite linebackers in the league, Leighton Vanderesh, as they're going to give the ball right back to Deontay Ingram after he was dropped for a loss of two. He picks up all of those yards right back. And James Conner, second effort, is going to get the first down to the 14-yard line. Setting up a big first and 10 here as we are ticking under three minutes here in the first quarter. Dobbs has time. Precker gets there. Hit as he throws. And it's going to be caught for a touchdown. And that is Rondell Moore. Touchdown Cardinals. And that is the first lead for the Arizona Cardinals this season. Rondell Moore just right on the doorstep. Puts that ball right in front of the safety. Good job by this Arizona Cardinals offense. Is Dak Prescott going to keep this one on the option route? Has some room. Is stood up. And that looks like it's going to be ripped away. I think Jalen Thompson held him up just enough time for Antonio Hamilton Sr., to come up and rip that ball away, take another look at it here. And that is exactly what happens as Dak Prescott just gets it ripped out of his arms and a turnover for Dallas. Going to go pistol look here on their next possession as Josh Dobbs has time, but he's hit as he throws. 
and you just can't I'm not sure if it's the offensive line or it's just this vaunted front seven from Dallas but you got to get the ball out a lot faster than that Greg Dortch is going to get his first catch here over the middle down to the 22 yard line Dobbs up to 61 yards passing here in the game hit as he throws and he's going to find Greg Dortch again another big first down as the Cardinals are looking to add to their already four-point lead as they're going to go three tight end set hands this one off to James Connor he's going to go nowhere and Connor three rushes four yards unable to find any yardage here for the starting running back as Dobbs is going to be flushed from the pocket nowhere to throw this and he's going to be stuffed at the six yard line that sets up a fourth and five a little 23 yard chip shot here for Prater we make those around here Prater has a big leg and has been doing this for a long time. Easy points for the Cardinals, 10 to 3 here in the second. Now Dak Prescott going to have time. He's going to find C.D. Lamb as the Cardinals playing a little zone here and Buda Baker up to make the stop. Under 10 minutes to go here in the second quarter from the 44. Dak Prescott has time again, and that's going to be caught by Brandon Cooks. And that's going to be a big first down. So some big yardage chunks picked up here by Dallas. Hand this one off to Tony Pollard, but he's going to get met in the middle by Kazir White. And he's going to make that stop, setting up a second and 10 from the 33. Dak Prescott has plenty of time, fires out, and that's going to be out to Tolbert. And he's going to be down to the 11-yard line. Dallas picking up big yardage through the air against this secondary. And now it's going to be a little play action, throw short. And that's going to be caught by the tight end down to the eight-yard line. Sets up a third and seven. Dak Prescott has time, fires, and that's going to be caught for a touchdown very similar to the Rondell Moore touchdown at the doorstep of the end zone. But there is a booth review, but it will stand as a touchdown. Josh Dobbs now looking to... Get this offense back on the board here. Once again, going to throw short and find Zach Ertz, his first catch of the day. Dobbs again, back, fires, and finds Rondell Moore. That's down to the 46-yard line. Dallas defense setting up here, third and 10. Throw is going to be outside on the hash marks. Hit as he throws, but can't connect with Rondell Moore. So here we go, Dallas now their opportunity and Dak Prescott misses that one badly sets up a third and 10 from the 20 yard line and that's going to be a free rusher Dak Prescott somehow able to get away from the rush Jalen Thompson comes in unable to bring Dak down but they will punt so here comes Josh Dobbs and there's no time for those deep routes we talked about it earlier and Josh Dobbs goes down, sets up a third and 15. And guess what happens? This defense steps up and makes the plays for Dallas. Some of their defensive linemen, some of their linebackers, that front seven, just so good at getting it to the quarterback. So here we go. Under two minutes to go. Dak Prescott trying to get something happening for the Cowboys as he finds... I believe that was Dobbs, or I believe that was Tolbert again. And Dak Prescott going to go across the middle, and he's going to go back, right back to him for another first down. Under a minute to go here, and that is going to be a rush that gets there. And Kazir White can't bring down Josh, or can't bring down Dak Prescott. Weird series of events there, as that's going to allow Dak Prescott to go back to the air for another first down. And Dallas looking like they're going to get points here before the half as Dak Prescott and the blitz is picked up. Walkins whiffs. I don't know who would do that. And the slide there by Dak Prescott is going to leave 12 seconds on the clock. And Aubrey comes in and nails the field goal right between the middle of the post there. And that is where we will leave things here at the end of the first half. So, all in all, I think Arizona playing very good. Some of the best football we've seen them play this season. But I want to take a look at the first mock draft that became available for us this week. And they have us taken Julian Gibson, a cornerback out of Georgia. He's a man-to-man -man corner archetype. 
and he has pretty good ratings here so far. I think mock draft number one's always hard to kind of get a, a real firm grasp on what kind of attributes to be looking at. But from what we see here, good press, good coverage. So that's always uh, good to keep in mind. And obviously this secondary needs some help. But so does this front seven defensive line, uh, adding a linebacker. And it appears that Deontay Walker is the best option with a high draft pick if you want to go linebacker. He is uh, projected as the number one overall selection in this year's draft. And again, 30%, we don't really know uh, what the rest of those attributes are going to end up being. Now, I know a lot of people have been looking at quarterback and wanting us to select somebody else, get rid of Kyler Murray, but this is a really, really shallow quarterback class here. Ethan Shelton is kind of the guy uh, for a first round quarterback, 5'11", so he's a little bit short. Uh, he is out of Stanford, and so far, I mean, he looks to be more of a strong arm quarterback, maybe. Uh, deep pack accuracy is A, short is A. Um, not really sure if that's going to be the answer to our problems, but we will have to wait and see as we are back underway. Second half here for the Arizona Cardinals. Dort's going to take this one in the end zone. And the Cardinals will start at the 25-yard line. Josh Dobbs going to have dual tight ends here on this set. Hands a ball off to James Conner. And he finally gets a few yards. Again, just tough sled in here for James Conner. I feel like Keontae Ingram has been finding more yards. And just as we say that, he goes ahead and gets himself a nice first down. Connor stays in the game, four wide for the Cardinals. And that's going to be a big stop. By Malik Hooker coming in from that linebacker position and making the play. Josh Dobbs falls way back. A little bit of a screen to Kelvin Ingram or Keontae Ingram here. And that's going to be down to the 49-yard line. And that's going to be a nice little stat pattern for Josh Dobbs. Picking up a first down there. And they're going to keep this one with Josh Dobbs again. Enough for a first down. Would rather see him slide, dive, do anything. Just not end up on the IR. But he takes the hit. Second and five here for the Cardinals. Keontae Ingram again going to get the handoff. Finding some good yards. 26 yards, but I feel like they've been very needed. 26 yards for this offense. The run game has been kind of shallow here in the first couple weeks of the season. Dallas getting back in the backfield again for another stop. James Conner, though, going to continue just driving his legs forward, setting up a third and seven here for Joshua Dobbs and the Cardinals offense. And Dobbs now has a pretty clean pocket until he doesn't. The rush ends up getting there. And that sets up a fourth and seven field goal attempt from the 25-yard line. And would you expect anything else from our veteran kicker? But nailing that one between the pipes. And we are back tied 13-13. Dallas can hand this one off to Tony Pollard. He runs into Baines, who is actually a really great story. Practice squad guy who is here in the starting lineup and uh, really contributing to us. But Dallas is going to go down the sideline, Brandon Cooks. And that's going to be Marco Wilson breaking that one up. Setting up a third and 13 from the 22. As Prescott will fire again, this time off target for his tight end. And that will be a punt back to Arizona. Still 13-13, Josh Dobbs going to keep this one, makes a move, and he meets Leighton Vander Esch. That's not exactly somebody I want to meet in open field. Big hit there by Leighton Vander Esch, and we're going to give the ball back to someone who can take some hits, and that's going to be James Conner getting himself rush number 10 here on the game. Dobbs going to go short, and that's going to be Zach Ertz getting his second catch. I would like to see this Cardinals offense go a little bit more towards Zach Ertz. Good strong receiver there at the tight end position hollywood brown gonna catch this one for a big first down and the cardinals are driving here late in the third handoff goes to keontae ingram again seeing if he can move, move those legs not james connor back there he's a little bit more elusive uh i really like running with him in space as well second and one give the ball back to keontae ingram and it's third and inches 
from the 21 yard line ingram gonna stay in there they're gonna try it one more time dallas is ready for it and he's dropped for a loss fourth and one malik hooker again and the offense for the cardinals is gonna stay on the field single eye set here for the cardinals time running down here six seconds on the play clock and he stood up joshua dobbs dives forward and he is stood up and it is going to be a turnover on downs for dallas as the cardinals denied what could have been a a very easy little yard there to gain 13 13 here dallas now getting the ball from the 28 dallas He's going to hand this one off to Tony Pollard. Nice little run there for him as he took a shot. A little slow to get up, but he stays in the game. And Dak Prescott going to take this one himself. Runs this, meets Buda Baker and a host of other Cardinals. But he's able to get the first down, down to the 39-yard line. Pick this one up from the 50. A little handoff here for Tony Pollard, and he's going to be met. And that's going to be a short gain for the Dallas offense from the 46. Another handoff to Tony Pollard. Tries inside, meets Kazir White, goes outside and meets, well, Buda Baker. So third and six now for the Dallas Cowboys. They're going to go five wide with their tight end. The throw is going to be down the sideline and that's going to be off target. Looking for C.D. Lamb from the 46-yard line. They will punt and it will be a good punt down to the 10-yard line. So Joshua Dobbs going to have some room to work with here as you got to drive all the way down here in the fourth. See if we can at least kick a field goal and take the lead. Dobbs is going to go underneath and a screen pass here to Keontae Ingram. And that's going to be down to the 19-yard line. Sets up a third and a one. Let's try James Conner here from a short yardage as that's going to work out for the Cardinals. Conner gets up to 11 rushes, 35 yards, and a first down here from the 22 for the Arizona Cardinals, gonna go play action. Josh Dobbs is running, could run for it, but has a man open, fires, and that's gonna be caught. Hollywood Brown for a first down, so the play action boot coming out here for the Cardinals. Just things that really didn't feel comfortable doing with Colt McCoy as Keontae Ingram is absolutely plastered. There after making the catch and the first down here from the 49 yard line as James Conner gets the handoff. 12 rushes, 44 yards for him, nine, game, nine yards there for the Cardinals running back. Both of those tight ends back in the set here. James Conner is going to get the first down. They're going to give it to him. Didn't look like it that way, but you know what? We take those as well. Two-minute warning here in Glendale. Upset City, maybe. We'll see what we can do. They're going to fake the toss, hand it off to James Conner as he is dropped back at the 38-yard line, setting up a third and eight. Leighton Vander Esch on the stop. Screens have been working here so far, and that is going to be not the case here. Fourth and 11, a 57-yard field goal, and it is good. And the Arizona Cardinals take the 16-13 lead as Prater. Had some chip shots earlier, but really shows off the leg here. Dak Prescott, no time on the clock as he's going to go underneath. And that's going to be a completion, second and three here from the 32. 30 seconds left for Dallas, and they're going to go short again. From the 38-yard line, it's going to be the target for Brandon Aubrey. What can the Dallas Cowboys do? Dak Prescott going to go outside, find Tony Pollard. He's able to get outside and stop the clock, not having to waste that last time out. This could be a huge defensive stand here for the Arizona Cardinals, but they are going to allow the reception to Ferguson as Dak Prescott puts that one exactly where he needs, able to get out of bounds. 17 seconds left. They're going to run this one with Tony Pollard. He finds nothing. And they go no huddle here down with 11 seconds. And they bring out Aubrey. And Greg O'Brien says, hold on, let's, let's take a think here and see if we can get him off his game just a little bit. Game tying to send this to overtime. And Aubrey's kick is wide right. Aubrey's kick is wide right. Arizona is going to hang on to this football game 
and beat the Dallas Cowboys at home in week number three. Joshua Dobbs led this offense all afternoon. Keontae Ingram did a great job as a change of pace back here for the Cardinals. Hollywood Brown had some big receptions as well. And it was a really a new Cardinals offense here in week three with Josh Dobbs under center. 166 yards. I mean, he didn't throw the ball through the ceiling, but he did exactly what he needed to do. Some nice touches here between Keontae Ingram and James Conner. They split them 15-15. And Joshua Dobbs getting some running lanes there as well. The options and the RPOs are coming out now for the Cardinals. Taking a look at the receiving yards, Marquise Brown, three targets, 62 yards. I definitely like where we are going with Joshua Dobbs at quarterback. And this game was incredibly close the entire time. That defense was huge. Our defense came up big and it was a very crazy uh, game to play obviously Dak Prescott getting the ball ripped away that turnover was huge uh, does not count for some reason as a turnover for Dallas so we didn't get credit for a turn turnover at all but this defense kept Dallas in check and that was what we needed to do gave up some big plays which is always concerning um, there especially in uh, the fourth quarter Dallas driving needing points Luckily, Aubrey was able to miss that field goal. Um, but again, I think this defense played pretty well for the amount of holes that we have to fix in the defense itself. But next week, it does not get any easier, or maybe it does. Brock Purdy, two touchdowns, two interceptions for him, just under 400 yards in his game. Christian McCaffrey has been held uh, without a touchdown this season. He has 49 attempts, 251 yards rushing for him. He's only broken a long run of 11 yards, splitting time with Elijah Mitchell. Debo Samuel, 100, 106 yards on nine receptions. He's averaging about 11, uh, just under 12, actually. Uh, but this defense is really what we have to worry about. This is a great, great defense. Uh, Drake Greenlaw, obviously Fred Warner. There is, uh, there is just a lot to deal with when you look at this defense. So hopefully we'll be able to replicate what we did against Dallas because this is, again, uh, one of those defenses that is led by some very good linebackers. Fred Warner, obviously, I look at him as maybe a touch above Leighton Vander Esch. So it's going to be a tough, tough sled, but we get victory number one on the season and you know what we didn't turn the ball over at all no interceptions no fumbles it was a great game so very excited to get this going or continue this era of the, the franchise going up against an 0-3 san francisco team looking for win number two on the season for the arizona cardinals Thank you guys all so much for hanging out. If you guys have stayed this long, don't forget to subscribe for some more Arizona Cardinals franchise content. Hit this video with a thumbs up. It helps me out, helps the channel out, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys all so much for hanging out. And as always, I'll catch you guys later.